Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Anil Kamath. I am a senior consultant surgical oncologist at Apollo Hospital, Bangalore. Thyroid cancer is one cancer in which, is, in which the main treatment would be surgical. Now the surgery would uh, involve removal of the thyroid gland. Either half of the thyroid gland is removed when there is suspicion, a procedure we call as hemithyroidectomy. Or if the cancer is confirmed, the entire thyroid may have to be removed, a procedure we call as total thyroidectomy. Now, uh, when the half of the thyroid gland is uh, removed, uh, when there is suspicion of thyroid cancer, that particular uh, part is sent for immediate examination, what we call as frozen section. And if the frozen section does reveal the presence of cancer, then the other part of the thyroid gland also will have to be removed. Total thyroidectomy is done for confirmed cases of uh, thyroid cancer. In this, the entire thyroid is removed. Of course, the function of the thyroid is lost after removal, but it, it can be easily replaced with thyroid uh, tablets. The main complications of this surgery are two. First of all, the nerves which go to the voice box or the recurrent laryngeal nerve passes very close to the thyroid. So, removal, entire removal of the thyroid may produce uh, temporary hoarseness of voice. The calcium producing glands or the parathyroids are present just behind the thyroid gland and uh, any handling of the parathyroids or uh, damage to the parathyroids can lead to reduction in the level of calcium in the patient's body which leads to stiffness of the arms and legs because of a uh, low calcium or hypocalcemia. The main complications of this surgery are two. First of all, the nerves which go to the voice box or the recurrent laryngeal nerve passes very close to the thyroid. So, removal, entire removal of the thyroid may produce uh, temporary hoarseness of voice. The calcium producing glands or the parathyroids are present just behind the thyroid gland. And uh, any handling of the parathyroids or uh, damage to the parathyroids can lead to reduction in the level of calcium in the patient's body which leads to stiffness of the arms and legs because of a uh, low calcium or hypocalcemia. Surgery forms the mainstay of all these thyroid cancers. But in certain types of these uh, cancers, additional treatment called radioiodine therapy is required. Now radioiodine therapy is done by the nuclear medicine department in which a small amount of radioiodine is initially administered to the patient about four weeks after the surgery. Now this radioiodine goes and concentrates in whichever areas there is thyroid tissue remaining. This might be in the thyroid bed of the operated area or it can be in the lymph nodes or in far off areas. Now if the radioiodine is showing concentration in various areas, patient is subsequently given a higher dose of radioiodine to destroy this tissue. This is called radioiodine therapy. Modalities like radiation and chemotherapy don't have much of a role in thyroid cancer. Radiation of course has a very limited role and it's used to treat residual disease which does not respond to radioiodine therapy. Chemotherapy per se does not have a role in thyroid cancer. In terms of outcomes, thyroid cancer is one of the best cancers to treat. The outcomes usually are very very good in, and in early stages it is a highly curable cancer and the patient can lead a normal life with no uh, disabilities.